Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Board Explorer, out on another walk, and I'm joined by the lovely Julia. Hello, lovely Julia. Hello, lovely Richard. We are standing on Underhill Road, I think it's called, uh, in East Sussex by Plumpton College, which is just behind us. Lots of horses and lots of horse boxes out today. Yeah, something's going on. It's a, a sunny Sunday as we record this. The temperatures are low, and the, uh, which is good, hopefully, that not too much of m the recent rain that's turned the mud and chalk into slush, hopefully it's still a bit frozen. Yes. And we're going to take a walk up the north side of the South Downs. Now, this is a continuation of the South Downs way, but we've got to get to the South Downs way because I'm doing this in a sort of strange ad hoc way. Thank you, lovely Julius. Just open the gate, as you heard. Um, so rather than just do the South Downs way, you know, in one long route, as you may have noticed, I'm doing it in a sort of strange way. Now, up on that hill there, you can't see it terribly well. Julia, Kevin Hall and I went to the big V um, which was just looking down on street. We've just come a little bit along the way so that we can get up a, a little bit further. And this time we're going to hopefully get as far as Black Cap. Ever heard of that? Nope. There's a trig point there. That's our main destination. Cool. Um, and I believe it's National Trust area. Their website doesn't actually tell you very much about the area. Neither does Wikipedia. No, not much to be found out, really. So we may be relying on you guys, if you know anything, if you've been here before. Word of mouth, please. Yes, that would be good. Um, so we're going up this track, and we're going to make our way up the, the escarpment. Still a bit of old man's beard here. Look at that. It's very lovely. <laughs> <laughs> You're not old enough. Oh, what <laughs> a shame. It does look very nice. Doesn't mean I can't have a beard. <laughs> uh, little Joseph, you may be wondering, because I know some people who obviously know uh, the Bald Explorer and the sort of Bald Explorer family get used to all the players, as it were, in the <laughs> team. Where is lovely Joseph? Do we leave him in the car? Well, today is a rare day where his father is not working. Aha! So I've said, well, you can have the baby. Fantastic. Because I'd like to go out for a walk without him, because I haven't done that since before I conceived him. Yes, <laughs> and it's, it's yeah. nice. It is nice, because you haven't, especially today, because we're going to be clambering up the hillside. Yeah, I thought hillside. it was particularly important today. How I... heavy is he now? Uh, He's about, um, he's about 14 pounds. Yeah, so you don't really need that. No, the extra <laughs> The weight extra today. weight. Still getting my fitness up, so. Yes, that's it. I mean, that's I think it. once you've had a baby and you've gone through nine months of pregnancy and then you've had the baby and you've been full on, the old fitness sort of goes <sighs> out the window for a bit. It does, it does. So. But some, some people struggle less with that than others, but, you know, it's an individual thing. Yes, of course. But I'm not terribly good on the fitness anyway. Well, we'll <laughs> soon get your fit clambering up here. And as we go up this little lane, we're coming into the shadow. We're more in the shadow here. And notice the temperature drops. Yes, and the lack of sunglasses. And the, <laughs> yes, we can see your eyes. farmer, I assume it is a farmer, has placed a bin by this gate um, and as you saw the bin was full of stuff. Yeah, it's good to see that there's a bin and people are using it instead yeah. of dumping anywhere. <laughs> right, we're going to go through the gate there, Julia. Oh. There's ah. a great, uh, I was going to say there's a great big lever. <laughs> So we got out here now. It says land exit access. There's a little sign there. Um, you feel the the the, uh, the mud. That's that's a nice uh, sound, isn't it? The crunching of frosty ground. And here we can see some sheep in the distance. There, just sitting down. Don't blame them. Not wanting to move about or anything. But you can see what a beautiful day it is. Looking back there towards Plumpton College, I believe an agricultural college. I would assume it is with all the amount of horses that are going in there. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're going up on this north side. So, it should be nice and rewarding by the time we get to the top. Yeah. And we would have warmed up, even if the temperature hasn't. Yes, significantly. <laughs> Plus the sun will be shining right on us when we get there. Yes. 
Oh, here we go. I'm reading a book at the moment by a chap called Frederick Wood, written in 1924, I think. And he lived in this area down fairly near Plumpton, more toward Ditchling. He doesn't actually identify his house and the village he's in, but he describes all the other villages. And he comes up on these downs very regularly in a hundred years ago and talks about the wildlife, the weasels, the stoats, the badgers, the rabbits, the hares. He collects moths, butterflies, and he goes hunting and shooting with farmers. And in another video, I want to stomp around some of the areas that he describes, see how they've changed, yeah. um, well, and when... see if we can spot any animals. I was gonna say, cause when you first told me about what you were reading about the stoats and weasels and things. I, well, I said to you, that I don't think there are any weasels left. No. I genuinely didn't. I am pleased to say there are. These are not as common. <laughs> yes. I can feel the... Oh, feel my legs feel the burn. <laughs> oh, this is good. But uh, it's lovely, lovely part of the world to live with. This is your playground oh. uh, to come up. And fortunately, you know, it's not too spoiled. Give you a view back here. How amazing is this? It's a white piece of chalk covered in ice. I thought it was some sort of gem or something then. I thought, what's the, what if we've got a piece of uh, <laughs> <laughs> semi precious gem on the floor here? Then I realised, don't be stupid, it's ice. <laughs> on the north side of a hill, what do you expect? <laughs> Well, we've come across the downs. We come up to this concrete lane, which has made life nice and easy. <laughs> but um, we're not staying on that, I'm afraid. We're going back onto the grass, which is through this. Access lane. Yes, access lane. Th that means that if you see a sign like that, access the land and roam pretty much where you like. There are paths, of course, but you don't have to stick to them. So it's the one of the areas that you have the right to roam. Here we go, we're st starting to get a bit of height now. This is where we have a bit more actual Difficulty. climbing. <laughs> yes, <sighs> and because it's frosty, we um, might slip a bit. Yeah. But already, look, you can see some terrific views behind us. I think the frost is both a boon and a bane because in some cases, it's, um, it's affording us more grip with the, the frozen ground. Yes. In other cases, you might slip. <laughs> <laughs> but just, this is what I love about the South Downs. Breathe in that wonderful, fresh, crisp January air. Yeah. It's lovely. lovely. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Julia, Richard. are you scared of heights? Maybe. Don't look to your left. No, it is quite high. <laughs> um, we are now walking on the side of a coombe. Uh, I guess this, where the permafrost would have made the big dome of snow. Snow? What am I talking about? Chalk. <laughs> Same colour. And down there would have melted, leaving these retreats. You're holding on to me. I'm just not wanting you to fall and drag me down with you. <laughs> oh, right, yes. I try not to drag you down. But yeah, what a beautiful sight. I love these edge of... You wouldn't want to drive a motorbike, quad bike, bicycle, penny farthing, oxen, <laughs> pig, boar. Unless you're a thrill seeker. Yeah. We're not. No. <laughs> and thankfully, the ground is very solid here with the little bit of topsoil which would be the mud um, on the chalk it could be quite slippery 
But uh, yeah, as we get around here, you get a bit more of the, the concept of this huge escarpment. Trying desperately not to make the mistake of leaning in, inwards, because then you might just overbalance anyway. You make me scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually walking backwards on the edge to film you. You're right down there. I'm actually <laughs> falling over. I'll get up and walk properly. And here we are. There we go, look. South Downs Way. How's your lungs? Oh, it's enough to open up the lungs, isn't it? Oh, yes. Well, there's fresh air and marching. I'll let you do the gate. That's very kind of you. I, I never do the gates. You never have hands free. No, that's true. So, here we go. Bit like a Roman road, straight as a die along here, the uh, South Downs Way, which is why I wanted to do the climbing, as you can see, because just walking along the top can be monotonous, I think, visually. And plus, you can't really get the full depth of this mountain. Yes. Mountain. It feels well, like it's under. I think we're about 460 for, no, 460. 600, sorry, I've got it right, it's 646. I was looking at the Wikipedia telling me the height in it. I thought, oh, I know how to remember this. It's 666, but take away two on the tens. That's how my brain works. So 646 feet. Cool. Which isn't huge. No. But it's enough. It's enough to notice when you're walking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, further along here somewhere, we should get to the uh, black cap and the trig. Just coming off the main path now. It's, it's quite busy on there now, isn't it? It's quite busy. It's about midday, and of course, on a Sunday, quite nice to see the world and his brother are out doing their walking, doing their thing, doing their thing, getting some exercise. I mean, that's what we we promote it. But at the same time, it is nice when you've got an area all around to yourself. That feeling of remoteness is good. Yes, yes. However, we're now walking just off the path through this little grove. Is it a grove? Or is a grove a clearing? I always get that wrong. But a little... Um, copse. Copse, yes, that's better. Copse of trees, which... Just going to come over here. You can see all this beautiful moss. Yeah, mosses here. and lichens showing how clean the air is up here. I still sticking to lichen. I've heard people say lichen is the, the English version, lichen is the American version. But I think both are acceptable. But yeah, plenty on these rather magnificent trees. Oak trees, lots of oak leaves still on the ground. Oak leaves, I think, are one of the longest to decompose. Mm, these lovely. Is this gorse? Yes. It's actually quite interesting because the Frederick Wood, who I was telling you about at the beginning, he talks about the gorse and he calls it furs. He says, I don't know if that's a collective noun. Or is, or is that just a pet name because it looks like fur on the Well, I've building. seen it. I've seen it written as furs in, in all sorts of places. Oh. Here they are, out for a I cycle notice, ride. Notice those little yellow flowers on those uh, gorsy looking things. Yes. I thought, oh, look, there's the trig. And there it is. Highest point. The number, if you're interested, is S3978. And... How delightful is that to have managed to get up there? But there's a there's a plaque just over here, which is an unexpected curiosity. Black cap replanted in 1953 to commemorate the coronation of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. And there that, you have it. That'll be these trees here, and these a beech, a cap of beech trees. Whoops, on the top of Black Cap. How magnificent. Equally covered in lichen, or lichen, and just wonderful. Begging for a cuddle. I feel that you are home. Yes, <laughs> certainly feel at home with trees. Right, well, um, I'll leave you here, okay. and uh, I'll be back in a week's time to pick you up. <laughs> Maybe if you could just drop Joseph to me later. Yeah, of course, and a bowl of soup. Yeah. Grand. Well, that's it for us. Uh, we're, we're complete here now on our little cap on a pixie perch. <laughs> Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Yes. Thumbs up. Like and 
subscribe like and subscribe <laughs> um, and we'll see you on another one until the next time ciao for now bye bye for now bye bye <laughs>